was really windy the other day. And, uh, holy sh**. It unzipped. <sighs> well, at least everything's still there. And things stayed dry. Yeah, that definitely moved. Tried to blow away. Gonna have to really secure this thing better. So that's out of angle now. That's just too big. The real world, not like the model. Two foot ten and a half. That's what it was supposed to be. This in a quarter. Come on. Being stupid is exhausting. I just made my very first cut here using the generator. Obviously, I can't keep trusting the model, which is a little disappointing since I like trusting the model. It means I can get a lot of cuts done ahead of time, but if they're all gonna be wrong, then what's the point? Okay, with that in place, this floorboard can actually stay here. The gap here is a little bigger than I wanted it. Probably still fine. Two foot seven and a quarter. Well, it doesn't help, but that's an eighth inch small. Dumbass. Get bigger clamps. It's a simple thing. Not really, no. So, so simple. Do it upside down, you moron. I am special sometimes. That's where that goes. Oh. <laughs> You're holding it, but you don't have a screw ready. Okay, doke. Okay, this last one's a little weird. Wow, you're so good at this. I should do this for a living. Okay. Somewhere around here. So the reason I've done it this way is so that I still have a lot of access in and around here. Uh, this is where the couch framing will eventually go. But I want to be able to get in here because I'm going to have plumbing and stuff associated with the hall water heater. Probably in this area here. Finally. Oh, that felt weird. Floor is finally in. Listen to that generator hum. I vacuumed underneath of it. First time a vacuum has been used in here. So you can see, this is where the four drawers will come. And the stair will be here. And there is where the water heater is. And so if I need to get to it, it's easy enough to pull out this drawer and just climb on in. Plenty of space for me to kind of wiggle my way in. And this area over here is left like this. It's still nice and supported easily. Um, the couch framing will go around it, but I wanted this open so that I could get in from this side as well because this is where I'm going to have some of my plumbing and whatnot that I might need access to. So I've officially begun properly researching what I need for the propane system in the tiny house. I've got the two propane appliances, the water heater and the furnace, and I'm going to have a pretty simple setup on the outside. The tanks are just going to be built onto a bit of a platform that goes on the ground. It's not going to be a like a built-on utility box or anything, but I still need all the copper tubing and the hoses and a uh, automatic switch like regulator thing. And then I got to get like a sleeve to go around and I got to figure out how it's going to actually go through the walls. So right now I'm just looking for local RV supply places because it's probably the most applicable type of shop that I could buy this kind of stuff. I don't think somewhere like Home Depot would carry this kind of thing, but I'll probably end up going to check them out as well. They're not open on weekends, so I'm guessing they're not very um, public friendly. Cool, try somewhere else. And I'm just wondering if you've got the uh, equipment and parts you'd need for like a complete propane system. Yeah, it's just, um, it's going to like a furnace and a water heater. Got pretty simple runs, they're fairly straightforward, but uh, the, um, the appliances have copper connections on them. So I was thinking I would just need a complete copper system through it. So you wouldn't have the, um, like the tools for copper and stuff like that either? Um, do you have any idea who might carry that kind of thing? So that was an RV place, and 
They don't even have copper stuff for propane, so gave me the number of a couple other places. One is just like a fittings place. That might actually be the best option. So I'm at the tiny house right now to kind of finalize my plans for the propane. I'm about to head to Home Depot to try and find the parts, though I may have to get it through a more specialty store. I wanted to take one last look at the appliances just to kind of get my head around what they have as far as their fittings are concerned. It's actually looking a lot less complicated than I thought it would be. I also wanted to grab the instruction manual for the water heater just in case I needed it for reference. Well, off to Home Depot. So Home Depot was really no help at all. I checked out plumbing and electrical while I was there though, and uh, they do have some stuff for that, like the PEX piping and all that. But as far as copper stuff goes for propane, not so much. They, the only copper tubing they had was for like fridge ice makers or something like that, or water lines, so. but. I picked up some treated wood, I'm gonna make some steps up to the door of the tiny house. Because if I have that tour coming next week, I probably should get a better way to get into the house. So this weekend is over. Uh, the last thing I did was get those stairs built, which is good because next Saturday there's supposed to be a tiny house bus tour coming to visit my house. So the stairs will give a kind of an easy way for people to get in and out to take a little look inside. So next week's video will hopefully feature that. See you then. Mm -hmm.